So my friend Bim is making this game called Moon Dancer, right? And it's a beautiful two-bit adventure game that takes place on the moon. And I was helping him work on it for a few months because I thought it was a really cool project. But one of the annoyances we have with that game, it's very atmospheric. So the movement is very slow to sort of add to that mystery and atmosphere. We both wanted to tweak the movement because we wanted to make it faster. But my experience told me, no, the movement's perfect. We need ways to move around this faster because we're getting used to it. So we did a couple really cool things. We implemented a set of debug controls. So one, if you hold control and you hit the arrow keys, you can skip back and forth between the different scenes. And two, if you're holding control and you click anywhere with the mouse, you can actually teleport the character to where that mouse is at. This saved us a ton of time debugging. That's why this tip is to build in debug tools and modes. It saves you a lot of time during development. You look at some of the time consuming things up front and you build in debug tools to actually make it happen. And this stuff doesn't have to ship with the game. We actually wrote a little piece of code that makes sure it's only in the preview version of the game. And this applies to all sorts of things like you spam console logs everywhere. Did you know you can probably color code them and categorize them? Or you can add a global variable in the game called debug mode. There's a lot of little things you can do with this, but if you're working on a project for a long time, you're gonna be doing a lot of debugging and you should make your life easier.